Can you get pregnant naturally after IVF? How could this happen? I mean, if you needed to use IVF in order to have a baby in the past, how could you get pregnant without it in the future? Or what if IVF doesn't work? What if IVF fails? How could you ever get pregnant without assistance? If you're curious about this phenomenon and how often it happens, watch this video to learn just how common this phenomenon is and exactly how it can happen. Let's get started. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people get pregnant with and without IVF for almost 20 years. And this is a common question. If I needed IVF to get pregnant in the past, do I have to use it again to get pregnant to add to my family? And a really common worry is if IVF doesn't work, does that mean that I'm destined to never be a parent? So this is such a common question and there's actually a study out that answers this question for us. And we're gonna go over it in this video. We're gonna go over five main things in this video. Topic number one, a brief review of exactly what IVF is and what it's used for. Topic number two, how could somebody get pregnant without IVF if they needed it to start their family? Topic number three, we're gonna go over a study that tells you just how common this is. Topic number four, we're gonna go over how you could get pregnant without assistance if IVF does not work. And finally, topic number five, I will tell you what I tell my own patients. Topic number one, a brief overview of what IVF is. IVF at its core in vitro fertilization has been a way to build a family around since 1978. Um, it is much more common today than it ever has been in the past, and it's estimated that over 10 million babies have been born worldwide using this technology. At its core, IVF is typically stimulating the ovaries to create and develop more than one egg in a given cycle, doing an egg retrieval, so getting the eggs out of the body, helping fertilization happen in the lab. So eggs are in the lab, get a sperm sample, help the eggs and sperm fertilize, watch the embryos grow over a few days, maybe freeze the embryos, maybe do genetic testing on the embryos, but when the embryos are ready, transferring an embryo back to the uterus in order to help somebody get pregnant. Now, IVF has changed drastically over the years. It used to be considered a last resort with lots of complications and a very low success rate. Nowadays, we have very high success rates with transferring a single embryo transfer People have less side effects from the medications than ever before because we've learned a lot. And fewer and fewer people are having twins, triplets, or more because we have such high success rates with a single embryo transfer. So this technology has changed drastically over my own career. Um, it's exciting to see how successful it is today and how people are using it. But questions come up all the time, and a lot of it is... Well, if you need it to have your first baby, do you have to do IVF again to add to your family? And then if IVF does not work, does that mean you are not gonna be a parent? And so that's what we're gonna cover in this video. Topic number two, can people conceive naturally if they need IVF to have a baby in the past? Well, the short answer is yes, but it is a common myth and a common assumption that if you need IVF to have your first baby that you can't conceive naturally. And this is an important myth to bust because as long as you have eggs that are ovulating, sperm exposure, and at least one open fallopian tube and a uterus, you could get pregnant. And so it's really important for people who are not ready to get pregnant after they deliver their first baby to realize that they should use contraception. And it just, you know, I have my patients laugh at me when I talk about that. They're like, oh my gosh, I tried for years to get a baby, finally have a baby with IVF. Thank you so much, Dr. Shaheen, but there is no way that it can happen naturally. And it really can. So again, as long as you have all the parts available and the possibility of it happening, it really could happen. So topic number three, how often can this happen? And there's a really interesting study that came out in an excellent journal, Journal of Human Reproduction, answering this very specific question. How often do people who had a baby with IVF go on to have a baby without assistance? Or some people say naturally. This first of its kind research study was published in the summer of 2023. 
and it was a collection of multiple studies looking and answering this very same question. And the authors brought together 11 articles that were very similar in design and study and answering the same question and a combination of over 5,000 patients. And they found that the answer is about 20% of the time, people who had a baby with IVF go on to add to their family without assistance. So that's one in five couples that used IVF to have a baby in the past will go on to add to their family naturally or without assistance. Okay, so we have the answer to that question, one in five, but that answered a very specific question. What if IVF doesn't work? What about the couples that try IVF and the embryo transfer doesn't work or the, they don't have any embryos to transfer? You know, they go through the shots, the treatment, the waiting, and they have a negative pregnancy test, no more embryos to transfer. So topic number four, what about patients who are not successful with IVF? Can they go on to have a baby without assistance? Now, I don't have a study to answer that specific question. I do hope that we are working on it in our field, but I can tell you with my own experience and in my own practice, I have absolutely seen this happen. So I have had couples who have had infertility for years. They tried IVF, not, you know, multiple times, one cycle, transferred multiple embryos, just a long, long history. And then maybe just taking a break, maybe saying, okay, we're just done with this fertility treatment. We're going to maybe look at adoption or maybe we are going to just think about trying naturally for a while and they do go on to have a baby. So you see to yourself, how in the world can this happen? Well, as long as all of the parts are there, anything is possible. So if you're ovulating eggs, even if somebody has poor ovarian reserve, so this is a common scenario. People find out they have a low AMH. AMH is anti-malarian hormone. I have an excellent video here talking all about AMH and fertility testing. I encourage you to look at that. Having a low AMH does not tell you whether you're fertile or not. It tells you how many eggs are up for grabs in any one cycle and can help predict the number of eggs that we can get with an IVF cycle. And you know, numbers are important for statistics are important. The more eggs you can get, the more embryos you can try with, the higher chance of success with a single egg retrieval. But if someone has a low number of eggs, you know, you're just working with a few eggs. They might not be perfect or the sperm might, be, might not be perfect. I mean, there's so many things that have to go right in order to get pregnant, no matter how you're trying or what intervention you're doing. And so IVF is a finite try. It's a certain set of eggs. It's a certain set of sperm and embryos. And if it doesn't work, that doesn't mean somebody is completely infertile. And so again, I, I want the study to be able to tell you, hey, this is the number of people who were not successful at IVF and went on to have a baby on their own. But I, I don't have that number for you, but I do see it in my practice and kind of goes with some of the really non-comforting ways that people sometimes try to provide comfort and with their friends that have difficulty starting their family, like, oh, just stop stressing about it. My friend that gave up and, you know, with their own eggs and their own sperm and decided to adopt, as soon as the adoption went through, they got pregnant on their own. Um, how many times have you heard that story? So those stories are absolutely true. Um, but just remember, if you're trying to comfort your friend uh, with infertility, hearing that type of story... It doesn't really provide comfort in that moment. It sort of dismisses their feelings. Um, I've got lots of information here on YouTube, on Instagram, on my podcast, Baby or Bus Fertility Podcast, on how to comfort people with infertility, the right things to say as opposed to the wrong things to say. But um, those are where those stories come from. Like IVF can be unsuccessful but you could go on to have a baby without assistance. So topic number five, what do I tell my own patients? I tell them what I have just told you. Anything is possible as long as you are ovulating eggs, you are exposed to sperm, um, you have at least one open fallopian tube and a uterus, anything is possible. And it is really hard to hear that when you've already been struggling, you felt like IVF was this high 
technology, you know, high success rates. You know, you look at the cover of tabloids and it seems like as long as you're rich enough or famous enough, all you have to do is do IVF a gazillion times or whatever it takes and you'll have a baby. And that is just, that is not the case, but I really want to reassure people. I mean, sometimes that's one of the first things I say when I'm calling with really difficult news, like there are no embryos or all of the embryos were tested and they're all abnormal. You know, I say, listen, this does not define you. This is a finite chance. And we could talk about trying again. We could talk about taking a break. We could talk about different options. Um, but just because this IVF cycle didn't work, that does not mean that you cannot be a parent. I hope that message is loud and clear. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have, other topics you'd like to learn about. Be sure and subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly videos on reproductive health. And as always, sending you loves, luck, and pineapples.